Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking all things mascara. So I have a series on my channel where I go category by category and I talk about my favorite products, either drugstore items or high-end items in a specific category. I've been building this playlist for a couple years now in the hopes that if you guys are in need of something, you can go refer to that playlist and just see what I recommend. A while back I did a video about three drugstore mascaras that beat high-end and I went and found that video and I feel like I have so many more mascaras to add to that same exact category of just amazing mascaras that honestly I do reach for over my high-end mascaras. I actually have seven that I chose today. Some of them are repeats from that video previously, but I also have a lot that have launched since then and that I've tried since then that I have become absolutely obsessed with. So we're going to be talking about all seven of those mascaras. Now two of them technically are not drugstore. One of them is from Colourpop and one of them is from the dollar store. So I will get to those later. I'm just going to call it drugstore because they're all very affordable prices. So so let's just get right into it. I think this one still tops all the mascaras. I love them all for different reasons, but if I could only wear one mascara from the drugstore forever, it would be this. This is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. I absolutely love this. Now, I guess I should make a couple disclaimers. One, yes, I do have very naturally long and full eyelashes. And two, my personal style when it comes to mascaras is something that's gonna be very voluminous, very buildable, almost clumpy, not too clumpy though, okay? And I also don't like things that are gonna smudge or flake, but I can't stand waterproof mascara. So those are my preferences, just to let you guys know, because I know everyone's very different when it comes to mascaras. Mascara is a very personal thing. But anyways, here's the applicator on the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. This holds a lot of product, which I personally love. I love when a mascara has a lot of product in there so that I can really build it up over and over. I'm actually currently wearing this mascara today. I did about two coats on the top lashes and then just one coat on the lower lashes and I absolutely love what it does for my lashes. This is a mascara that I reach for on special occasions or when I just want my lashes to really have that false lash effect. I don't always reach for this on an everyday basis just because when I'm doing an everyday look, I like to keep my eye makeup pretty soft and I feel like I can get away with something a little bit more subtle on the lashes in those cases. So this is definitely one that I reach for when I'm doing an eye look or when I want it to look like I'm wearing false lashes. I love this mascara. This next mascara is also from L'Oreal. It's one that's been in my collection for a while, but I recently fell back in love with it. This is such a classic. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. It's just a good basic mascara in the best way. You'll notice the similarity in the brushes that I look for when it comes to a mascara. This is the brush on this carbon black mascara from L'Oreal. The reason why I love this one is because it builds so beautifully. You're gonna get a lot of volume with it, but it doesn't have as thick of a formula as the Lash Paradise. So this formula kind of glides on the lashes and you can really build it up like crazy. It's absolutely beautiful. It doesn't smudge or flake on me either. And a little fun fact about this, I actually attended the Masterclass by Mario makeup class, which is the makeup class that Mario Dedevanovic puts on. He is Kim Kardashian's makeup artist as well as a lot of other people's makeup artists. And anyways, attending that class kind of made me reach for this again because this is one of his favorite and one of Kim's favorite mascaras. So it's something that I reached for again because of that and I got hooked on it all over again. It's been at the drug drugstore for years and I know so many people really love this one. It's honestly just a great go-to everyday mascara but you can also build it up for more glam days so it's an amazing formula. This next mascara is one of the newest mascaras to my collection and it is such a unique formula and it has such a unique applicator and I like this one for different reasons. This is the NYX On The Rise Volume Lift Scara. I think it's funny how it's called Lift Scara or at least I did think it was funny until I tried it and now I totally understand why it's called that. This brush has such a unique shape. As I turn it, you can kind of see the different sides to it, which allows you to really get in up against the lash line. And this is not like a brush, so it's a little bit more stiff. So you do have to be careful when getting up close to the eye because I've accidentally scratched my lash line a little bit because of it. So it's more of a plastic applicator, but the reason why I really like this one is because it's not a brush, those little spikes really help to comb through the lashes. So if you're someone who doesn't want any clumping at all, I personally like that effect for some looks, but you want curl and you want your curl to hold all day, but you're someone who doesn't like waterproof mascara either, this is absolutely amazing. Another reason why I love this mascara is because I really do feel like this is one that you can build up and you have to build it up quite a bit if you want an extreme effect. 
I do one coat on an everyday basis, so if I just want my lashes to look lengthened and separated, one coat is plenty. Two coats will kind of bump that up enough. If I want something extreme, I do three coats. And it does take a little bit longer to build this up, but it's so worth it. It separates my lashes and it literally makes them look like I have a pair of false lashes on top of my normal lashes. It is such a beautiful mascara and it's called Liftscara because it really does hold the curl. I'm somebody who does not use a lash curler. If I do, my lashes like curl backwards, but I like this because it lifts the lashes without curling them and it holds them in place all day. This is an amazing mascara and it's a very unique formula. It's different than my other ones in my opinion and I love how versatile it is because you can build it from a really soft everyday look to something extreme and super voluminous. So this is an amazing drugstore mascara. I mean all of these are <laughs> but that one specifically is really cool. Alright next we're going to be talking about another mascara that's very similar to the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist mascara. I actually really love how simple the packaging is on this and you'll notice a similarity in the brush shape Honestly, this is the kind of brush that I look for I love something that's gonna be a little bit fatter and fluffy because that usually tells me that it's gonna give me a lot of volume And that's exactly what this covergirl exhibitionist mascara does for me This one I love as well because it does not smudge or flake which is something that I really really care about Especially for my lashes a lot of mascara smudge on me because I do have such long lashes that throughout the day The tips of them can smudge and I get a lot of fallout under the eyes with some of them But this one has never done that for me and I love how I can build it up. For some reason, I will say with this one, every single time I use it, it gets really messy. I always get mascara marks. I usually do with any mascara, but for some reason this one is like always getting on my eyelid. I think maybe it's just the combination of my eye shape and the brush shape, but I still use it. It doesn't stop me because I absolutely love how beautiful this is on the lashes. It's very similar to the L'Oreal Lash Paradise where it's going to build up that volume and it's going to give you a false lash effect. It's going to look a little bit clumpy, a little bit piecey and spidery if that's what you want. And again, that's a look that I personally really like especially for more bold eye looks I feel like a bold lash really complements a deeper smoky eye or something like that and this is one that I really really love from the drugstore and it's one that is always on rotation and sits right here front and center on my desk Okay, this next mascara is one that took me a minute to really get the hang of, but now that I got the hang of it, I absolutely love it. This is the Honest Beauty Mascara, and this is one that I definitely would wear on more of an everyday basis. I feel like you can also build it up if you want something a little bit more glam, but for some reason, in my opinion, it specifically looks nice on an everyday basis. The thing that's cool about this mascara is that on one end, you actually get a lash primer, which is really nice and actually works really well with the mascara. The thing that took me a minute with this one is when I first tried it out, I put the primer on both lashes first and then I went in with the mascara. Don't do that. You got to do the primer. My sister taught me this, by the way, because this is like her favorite mascara. So she told me that you need to do the primer on one eye and then do the mascara right after it on that same eye. So you do one eye at a time. And I really do feel like that helped to not make it so clumpy and it really helped the mascara glide over the primer nicely. So I'll show you the wand of the mascara. This wand is really unique. It's a silicone wand and it just works. It separates the lashes, it volumizes them, it really doesn't clump together, and I just like how you can build it up. I really, again, love this on more no makeup makeup days when I want more of a bold lash look. Do you know what I'm talking about? I always have those days where I want everything else to be really soft on the face and the lips and the eyes, but I want the mascara to be like the focal point. Even though everything else looks really natural, I want mascara on. And this is the mascara that I reach for for those types of looks. I really do love this one. All right, this next mascara is from the dollar store, and it's one that I feel like is specifically amazing for everyday wear. If you're somebody who wants something that's just gonna look really natural, and if you like a super separated lash look, I think you'll really love this one. This is from Believe Beauty, and it's the Voluminize Mascara. This one also has kind of an hourglass shape, the brush is actually very similar to the um, NYX Liftscara mascara. It's a silicone brush head and I really just love how this one separates the lashes. You can build this one up if you want to, but it's just gonna give you like very nice, fluffy, soft, super separated lashes, which I feel like looks really nice on no makeup makeup days when you want a soft lash. Again though, I have worn this with more of a glamorous look, so you can build it up if you want to, but I personally reach for it on more natural lash days. And I just love how it wears on my lashes. It doesn't smudge or flake either. None of these mascaras do on me, which is why I love them so much, but this is a beautiful mascara and it's from the dollar store. So it's super affordable. You can't go wrong. And I've absolutely been loving it recently. So the last mascara I want to talk 
talk about. I actually have two shades that I'm really loving. It's the ColourPop BFF Volumizing Mascara. Here's what it looks like. This also has a very similar brush head to the L'Oreal Lash Paradise and the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. So if you're a fan of either of those mascaras, I feel like you will also enjoy this CoverGirl one. It has an hourglass shape, but it's a brush. It's very buildable, very voluminous. It's gonna give you huge lashes. And I personally love to do about two to three coats with this on the top and bottom lashes, and I absolutely love it. This is the black on black shade, but I wanted to mention my other favorite shade in this formula because I get so much use out of this. It's the same exact mascara, but this one is in the shade Brownie Points, and it's a beautiful brown. I have been absolutely loving brown mascara because you really can't overdo it. If you're somebody who likes to wear more natural makeup and sometimes you feel like you just want to enhance your natural beauty but you like wearing mascara and maybe you feel like black mascara is sometimes too harsh for what you're going for or you might just wanna try something new, a brown mascara really does kind of emphasize the lashes but in the most beautiful, soft way. Another way I like to use brown mascara is I'll use a black mascara on the top lashes and then I'll go ahead and use a brown mascara on the lower lashes and it just kind of softens the lower lash line a little bit because sometimes if you're not going for a more harsh lash line look on the lower lashes, I said lash a lot of times, a brown mascara is perfect to pop on the lower lashes because it gives you that definition, but again, it's not gonna be too harsh, it's not gonna accentuate anything on the lower lash line, but you're still gonna be able to define your lower lashes, which really does make any eye look look really nice and complete in my opinion. I always wear lower lash mascara, but this is such a great option. Um, I love the formula and I love both of these colors. So I really wanted to make sure to mention that in today's video. All right, you guys, so that completes this video. Those are like my current top favorite drugstore mascaras. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions about any of these mascaras, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I'm always looking through the comments and I'm always trying to comment back to as many of you as I can. So let me know if you have any questions about these mascaras and also I would love to hear from you guys and I would love to know what your favorite drugstore mascara is. Do we have similar taste in mascara or do you guys go for something a little bit more lengthening and not as volumizing as what I go for? If so, I would love to know. Leave a comment down below. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button and if you're already a subscriber but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for today's video. Let me know you guys if there's another category that I have not done yet on my playlist or that you would like an update of as far as these category types of videos. Let me know if there's a certain one that you want me to do. I would love to hear from you guys so you can leave that in the comments down below as well. Thanks again for watching my video. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.